Five scientists who made important discoveries that gave birth to modern astronomy. Nicolaus Copernicus, Polish mathematician and astronomer who proposed that the planets have the sun as the fixed point to which their motions are to be referred. That Earth is a planet which, besides orbiting the sun annually, also turns one's daily on its own axis. This representation of the heavens is usually called the heliocentric or sun-centered system, derived from the Greek helios, meaning sun. Copernicus' theory had important consequences for later thinkers of the scientific revolution, including such major figures as Galileo, Kepler, Descartes, and Newton. Copernicus probably hit upon his main idea sometimes between 1508 and 1514, and during those years, he wrote a manuscript usually called the Commentarius, Little Commentary. However, the book that contains the final version of his theory, De Revolutionibus Orbium Co Coelestium Libre V, six books concerning the revolution of the heavenly herbs, did not appear in print until 1543, the year of his death. Tycho Brahe, Danish astronomer whose work in developing astronomical instrument and in measuring fixing the position of stars paved the way for future discoveries. His observations, the most accurate possible before his invention of the telescope, included a comprehensive study of the solar system and accurate positions of more than 777 fixed stars. What Tycho accomplished, using only simple instruments and practical talents, remains an outstanding accomplishment of the Renaissance. Tycho attempted to continue his observations at Prague with a few instruments he had salvaged from Uraniburg, but the spirit was not there, and he died in 1601, leaving all his observational data to Kepler, his pupil and assistant in the final years, there was a struggle between Kepler and Tycho's heirs regarding ownership of the data. When it was resolved with those data, Kepler laid the groundwork for the work of Sir Isaac Newton. Johannes Kepler German astronomer who discovered three major laws of planetary motion, conventionally designated as follows. 1. The planets move in elliptical orbits with the sun at one focus. 2. The time necessary to traverse any arc of a planetary orbit is proportional to the area of the sector between the central body and that arc, the area law. And 3. There is an exact relationship between the squares of the planet's periodic times and the cubes of the radii of their orbits, the harmonic law. Kepler himself did not call these discoveries laws, as would become customary after Isaac Newton derived them from a new and quite different set of general physical principles. He regarded them as celestial harmonies that reflected God's design for the universe. Kepler's discoveries turned Nicolaus Copernicus' sun-centered system into a dynamic universe with the sun actively pushing the planets around in non-circular orbits, and it was Kepler's notion of a physical astronomy that fixed a new problematic for other important 17th century world system builders, the most famous of whom was Newton. Galileo Galilei, Italian natural philosopher, astronomer, and mathematician who made fundamental contributions to the science of motion, astronomy, and the strength of materials, and to the development of the scientific method, his formulation of circular inertia, the law of falling bodies, and parabolic trajectories mark the beginning of a fundamental change in the study of motion. His discovery with the telescope revolutionized astronomy and paved the way for the acceptance of the Copernican heliocentric system, but his advocacy of the system eventually resulted in an inquisition process against him. Isaiah Newton, English physicist and mathematician who was the culminating figure of the scientific revolution of the 17th century. In optics, his discovery of the composition of white light integrated the phenomena of colors into the science of light and laid the foundation for modern physical optics. In mechanics, his three laws of motion, 
The basic principles of modern physics resulted in the formulation of the law of universal gravitation. In mathematics, he was the original discoverer of the infinitesimal calculus, was one of the most important single works in the history of modern science. Reflection With all the contributions of scientists, from Lippert's perspective glass to Galileo's design of the telescope to its dynamic upgrade to a large and powerful Hubble Space Telescope to identify one, with Kepler's law that able to understand the behavior of the heavenly bodies and the Newton's law that able to explain motion, force, gravity, etc., scientists somehow able to grasp some of various wonders, phenomena, and mysteries of the universe, all the very minute still. One thing that most of the scientists noticed, the existence of an intelligent designer, the creator of all things. As per Kepler, divine providence guided him to the study of the stars. One of Kepler's favorite biblical passages came from John chapter 1, verse 14, and the word became flesh and lived among us. Kepler was not alone in believing that nature was a book in which a divine plan was written. Galileo and Einstein shared the same thinking as well. For as I Newton, with his understanding of the law of planetary motion of Kepler, he regarded them as celestial harmonies that reflected God's design for the universe.